Hey everyone and welcome back. So in this video, we'll be solving another cross-site scripting lab on Portugal Academy. So let's get started. This lab contains a reflected cross-site scripting vulnerability in the search block functionality where angle brackets are HTML encoded. All right. And to solve this lab, we need to perform a cross-site scripting attack that injects an attribute and calls the alert function. Okay. So let me just head to the lab. And this is where we have cross-site scripting vulnerability, right? So as always, when you're trying to find cross-site scripting vulnerability, the first thing that we'll do is we'll inject less than symbol along with some text, right? So avatar, enter. And once we get the response, go to the source code of the page, control F and then check for the reflections, right? So let me just search for avatar. And as you can see, we have two matches, right? So the, in the first match, you can see that the less than symbol is being encoded, right? In the first reflection, the less than symbol is being encoded. Now, if you go to the second one, right? Second one. Here also you can see that the less than symbol is being encoded. And if you observe carefully, you can see that the reflection here is inside an attribute, right? So this is an attribute, right? A value. So value is an attribute and the reflection is inside an attribute, right? Whereas here it is just inside some text, right? So here it is inside attribute and here it is in some text. Now, before actually constructing a payload, let me actually see if the greater than symbol is also encoded or not. So greater than symbol, enter. And as you can see, the greater than symbol is also encoded, right? Whenever you have both less than symbol and the greater than symbol uh, encoded, right? And if you have the reflection inside an attribute, what you can try is you can, you can actually see if the double quotes is encoded or not. So let me actually remove this both uh, less than and greater than symbol because anyway, they are encoded, right? And see if the double quote symbol is encoded or not so double quote symbol and as you can see the double quote symbol is not encoded so let me actually say that again so when you have both less than symbol and the greater than symbol both encoded and if you see the reflection inside an attribute what you can try is you can actually check if the double quote symbol is encoded or not and that is because you can actually construct a new attribute so basically an event attribute right and then you can actually execute some javascript got it awesome now let us actually create that payload so what I'll do here is first I'll close this uh, this particular attribute and then I'll create my own attribute. So I'll give a space here and then I'll say on click on click is equals to and put a quote here and then write uh, maybe uh, alert one two three and close the bracket enter and you can see that now we have a new attribute right. So we have this attribute the earlier attribute that is value with the name avatar and then we gave a space here. And then we wrote our own event attribute that is on click, which is equals to double quotes inside that we have alert one, two, three. Now what should happen whenever someone types on this particular uh, input, we should get an alert pop up box, right? So let us actually try that. So let me just go back to the page, right? Enter. And as soon as someone clicks here, you can see that we have a pop up box, right? But the lab is not solved yet. That is because the lab doesn't expect victim to actually click in that search box the lab wants to alert a pop-up box independent of the user actions so basically we send a link to the victim and he should see a pop-up box he should i mean we should not even depend on the user expecting him to click inside the input box so what we can actually do here is so let me just go back to the source code of the page so what we can do is instead of on click we can use something called as on focus so on focus enter awesome so let me just go back to the page so that I can tell you what is on focus. So what is on focus attribute? So let me just Google that, right? So on focus attribute, sorry, event attribute, right? So on focus event attribute. So if you go there, you can see that execute a JavaScript when the input field gets focused. So what do I mean by focus? So let me actually press tab on my keyboard, right? So let me actually press tab on my keyboard. You can see that currently you can see a highlighted box, right? A blue color highlighted box. That means this particular thing is focused. Now, if I press tab again, you can see that this link is focused. Then let me just click the tab again. So it is here, then here, then here. And if I press tab again, okay, where is that highlight? So, okay, where is my tab? So let me just click tab again. So it is right here. And finally it's in the URL. So that means this is focused. And if I press tab again, so this is focused. And then if I click tab again, this is focused and it looks like it is going to be a long video. So if I press tab again, where is my focus? If I press tab again, okay, this is focus. And finally this one, and there you go. Now, as the input is focused, we are seeing a pop-up box now, but we can't expect user to click tab and tab and tab and tab and finally land on this input box so that it will be focused and the alert box will be popped up, right? So for that reason, what we'll do is 
in our payload we'll add another attribute and that is called as auto focus so basically when the page loads it will auto focus onto the particular element that is this input element and as soon as that triggers the on focus gets triggered and finally it will execute our javascript payload right so let me actually write it here right after the space right so auto focus right and then give a space this should work so enter and as you can see we have actually added something called as auto focus now let me just go back to the page and see if that is working so press back enter and there you go it worked now, now as soon as someone sends this link to the victim it will pop up an alert box and that is how you solve the slap so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe so if you have any doubts i'll be on discord you can come there and you know probably ask any of your doubts and yeah don't forget to subscribe see ya